Hello everyone. Today I will be telling you about the lead code features to maximize your learning and and maintain consistency on lead code. So let's see feature one. In feature one, you can filter the problems based on their their difficulty, their status, whether you have solved it or not, and tags. These tags are the topics which you are facing in which you are facing difficulty. So you can filter the problems and and try the and try the topics in which you are facing. facing difficulty to practice more and 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 get a good end on, on them now you can explore you can explore more more filters by yourself now let's see another feature in feature 2 you can create lists list of problem by yourself right like i am having many list you can click on your this icon and then you can go to my list so like this i am having many list this is the list of list of stack problems which i found good and i have so i have made a list of them and these are the priority queue problems i have made a list of them so that i can practice them later so you can form list now how to add a problem to list let's say you want to add this problem to a list you will simply click it then you can select in which list you want to add this problem you can select you can select multiple list to add the problem and and if and if you want to create a new list so you can simply create a new list like nowadays a stable list is very popular so you can create a stable list create and this problem will be is added to stable list done so this problem is is added to stable list so you can add you can add multiple problems to stable list and and which can be practiced later so so this is another feature now let's see some more features we can see the feature of daily problems you can go to this problem set and here comes the daily problem like today's daily problem was decode based and you can go to daily problem from by clicking here also so you can try daily problems it will it will help you maintain consistency and if you are procrastinating some topics like try or try or, or segmentary so it will help you do this topic and and let's see some more features now now the main feature is of contest giving contest you can click on this to go to contest so we are having this contest after 3 hour and this contest after 15 hour so you can click on the contest and and you can simply register for it the contest will be will be close to the close to the oi of most companies and and most companies and, and startups so it will help you prepare for the for for real coding round you can simply register for it but if you but if you are unable to do, do the contest then you can then you can unregister it before giving the contest before the start of contest because because if you will because if you will not give the contest after registering then your rating will fall too much so so do this by so do this if you have time then only now you can now you can maintain consistency for because of because of because of many reasons like by maintaining consistency you can you can you can redeem many many things like i have redeemed this this lead code shirt so you can redeem this lead code shirt and there are much more like you can how you can earn more lead code lead code coins like if you will if you will solve a daily challenge then you will get 10 points you can maintain a streak you can get 30 points you can get plus one by daily checking in you can contribute test cases questions and give contest regularly so these things are little motivations to maintain the consistency on lead code and and get some goodies and and have a and have a nice profile now you can how you can contribute some questions let's see a example before it i also want to show one more feature by which you can earn earn more lead coins 
like when you give a contest you will get plus 5 if you will give two contest in a single week then you will get then you will get 35 coins and and after giving a contest on next day you can you will get a you will get a surprise of 10 plus coins here somewhere here or here which you can also redeem now let's see how to contribute some test cases so i have contributed a test case on, on, in this problem so what is this problem is saying we are given guess and cost and we have to and we have to traverse traverse this whole whole array from let's say we are we have chosen this index so we have to travel like this first we have to go to index 2 then index 3 then index 4 and then index 0 then index 1 and ultimately we will reach back to index 2 so we will have to do like this but the condition is this if i am starting from index 2 then i will do a plus plus of 3 and minus of 5 which will be minus 2 but the but the value should not go, go to negative so this is the guess which will be added to our fuel and 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 this is a cost which is the amount of gas which will be reduced from our fuel so our fuel must be greater than or equal to zero while traversing the whole array we can start from any index so we have to tell if it is possible or not and if it is possible then we have to return the index else we have to return minus one so what i notice it that n can go up to 10 to power 5 so so the simple brute force solution which is checking from every index should not work but but these were working so i simply make a test case to get tle so so i so you can click you can go there and you can click to contribute then you can select the condition like there are missing test case so i selected missing test case and then added a description and all other things you can see here how i have done this you have to maintain your you have to you have to give your lead code username this is my old username you have to select what kind of bug then you can give the description of bug like on square solution should not pass and result in tle so this is the tle solution and and this is the optimized solution which is running in on so this should only pass so you have generated a generated a te test case to get TLE. So this is the last test case which I have generated. So what is in this test case? Let's see this example. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the cost. 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. So we can see we cannot start from here. We cannot start from here. We cannot start from here. We can start from this or this and we can also see this sub array is negative this sub array is having negative sum this sub array is also having negative sum and this sub array is also having negative sum but then this whole sub array from starting from the from the starting index third this whole sub array is having positive sum and it is not getting and it is not getting negative at any point of time so if that so if the total sum is greater than zero if total sum if total sum is greater than or equal to zero and and if we will start from end which is having which is having a positive or which is having a positive value like if we will start from this so we know that it get it will be a big positive value and and after that we can get a smaller negative value so this positive value plus this negative value will be greater than or equal to zero if total sum is greater than or equal to zero so this is the intuition for forming our optimized answer i have simply make a, another array which is having each a equals to guess i minus cos i and if, if sum is less than zero then answer will not be possible else answer will be possible this is the current fuel this is the best index i can get for index i to n what i am doing is i am increasing the car fuel by ai if car fuel is less than zero then i know that i have to start from next from next like this is negative so i can think of it it as a it as a it as a potential answer 
but again if i if i get negative value negative sum by traversing then i will then i will make this index as a as an x potential answer so if this sub array will be having a having a positive value and and nowhere it gets it gets negative so we are sure that that this is a bigger positive value which will eliminate all these negative values and we will be able to reach back this index if total sum is greater than or equal to 0 so this is what we are doing this is the best so we are doing i plus 1 so we can make a test case like this we can make multiple zeros this is the case and this is the cost and and this is a vector so this is the final a vector so if so if someone will will apply the brute force approach then what will happen he will first try to see whether this index 0 is satisfying this or not like from index 0 we can again reach index 0 or not so he will he will go till here but but he will not get the answer then he will try from here he will traverse the whole area again but will not be able to get the answer similarly he will try from all zeros he will not be able to get the answer so it will be already making it o n square which will lead to TLE but the but the brute force approach was able to pass because the test cases were weak and and from and let's say from from very initial indexes we were able to get a we were able to get a correct answer so i have made the test case like this such that the correct answer will be the last index so we will have to we will have to try all these indexes till reaching this this index so so this was a good case for getting a tle similarly if, if you can identify some logical errors which were missing or some or some nice edge cases which were missed then you can contribute and get 200 coins or 100 coins similarly you can contribute questions and earn more more lead coins and it will help you maintain consistency and keep you motivated for getting the SOEX and, and improving your skills. So that's it. Thanks for watching.